in an emergency braking, rely mostly on your front brake, which on American bikes is on your left. You use about 60 to 70 percent of your front brake and just lightly on your rear brake. The key on not going over the handlebars but stopping quickly is to take your center of gravity, move it back, down, and brace your arms using that front brake and that will keep you from going over the handlebars lightly on the rear brake so you don't skid. We'll demonstrate how we do this. On slippery roads, or roads with sand and gravel, rely more on your rear brake, which on American bikes is on your right. Using your front brake predominantly on such roads will cause the front brake to the front wheel to skid and you'll most likely fall. Using your rear brake as your main brake in such situations when it's slippery or on gravel will cause, may cause your rear wheel to lock up some, but you're more likely to maintain your balance. Just a couple of additions. In what weather? Slow down and brake sooner. On long descents, I tend to feather the brakes as I descend. This is important. If you have rim brakes, you don't want to heat up those rims and blow out your tire. With disc brakes, feathering gives you a greater control less likely to heat up the rotor and cause some fading as you descend. We're going to link to a video on mountain bike braking which will give you additional specifics for mountain biking. If you have anything to add, additions, comments, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.